Hey. Uh, did you get that thing done by October 16th? Yeah, what is that like? Is that like two weeks? What is up everyone, my name is Sean Hudgens and welcome back to my channel. So a few weeks ago I was brainstorming with my best friend Abdul. He is a comedian and with a few of his friends he's creating this really cool interactive ghost tour. Basically what you do is you walk around Vancouver, British Columbia and you listen to these fake ghost stories about different locations with these two hilarious characters called the Ghost Bros. It's this super creative project that just makes people want to be a part of it. It's just new and different and really cool. And naturally, I had to make something for them. So, I've got all the parts here. It's ready to build. So, cue the build montage. And after we get something built, I'll tell you what it's gonna do. It's really cool, I think you'll like it. Let's go. Okay, so we have the circuit board now complete. And uh, let me tell you what's going on here, because uh, I'm sure you're wondering what's gonna happen. So this is going to be a GPS enabled fake walkie talkie. So I designed this after some walkie talkie that uh, looks like this classic Ghostbusters one that I found online and I designed it had it printed at Shapeways It's pretty cool turned out really nice and this is gonna sit in here like this I'll Figure that out in a second. But anyways, let's go over some of the components on here This is the uh, HCC module of course if you're a subscriber to my channel you Probably know what that is. Then we got the GPS module down here. This is a VS 1053 it's for doing audio stuff you can put mp3s on this card here this SD card and it will play them this is an amplifier for the speaker which is connected up here this is a headphone jack so when you plug in the headphone the uh, speaker actually stops the output I've never done any of this before so this is all new and it works every time you do a new circuit you risk uh, screwing something up somehow I didn't we got the battery back here, and as you can see, I had to cut out this section because, oops, doesn't fit the USB cable with the fat section. All right, and uh, yeah, some LEDs, two buttons, a rotary encoder, and that's it. All that crammed on there. As you walk around, the GPS is going to know where your location is, and it's going to allow you to play certain audio files depending on your GPS coordinates. So if you go to one of the locations where they want you to sightsee, then that's the file that'll be allowed to play, which is really cool. Now we just have to write the uh, program. It shouldn't be too difficult. It's going to be pretty similar to the geocache one where you have to have a location, it needs to know where you are. So we've got a bit of that written already, but I have to add in the MP3 files and all that stuff. And I need to make it simple so that anyone can just put the files on the SD card and it's good to go. Shouldn't be that difficult. It's gonna be pretty fun. Let's get to it. We've got the program written. It's not very complicated, but also it could probably use some work. It's just to get things going right now. And uh, it does work. I also put together the rest of the walkie talkies. Now it's a bit of a tight fit because the headphone jack sticks out and you can see it's gonna be flush with it when you put it in, so you have to get a headphone jack in that hole, LEDs to line up, and of course, the rotary encoder. So, luckily this has a bit of flex to it, but I think it's a, uh, possibly a small design change later on. 
to make things easier. Give it a bit more room. Best is to get the encoder through the hole and then get it to slide down. Oh, and the one other thing is the buttons will want to get stuck on the holes, so you have to push them over a bit as they get close. Go. Anything should fall into place. That pops through. And then the one last final thing is the switch has to line up with the switch on the board. And there we go. This holds it on the front, but then there's some screws for support on the back as well. I installed these LEDs and I did that by placing the LEDs on the circuit board and then inserting the board with them unsoldered, getting the right depth and then soldering them in the case just like that. It's not too difficult and that way you get the right distance, but it can still come out. I also uh, installed the speaker and I had these knobs and switches also 3D printed in this cool orange color to kind of match the nostalgia look. Now, the speaker output and everything is only connected to the switch, so when you're powering it through the USB, you won't get any audio. You have to turn it on to get the audio to come out. So as I usually do, since this program is not very long, I will just go through it really quickly. The way I have set it up is that when you go somewhere to a specific location, you go within 50 meters, but that's, that can be changed, but you go within 50 meters of your set location, you're able to play a file. So let's go through it. So. I'm using the library Tiny GPS++, very handy GPS library. It has everything and it works perfectly. Um, and then this Adafruit VS1053, that's the audio codec we're using. We have that library as well. So as I mentioned here, you need an intro, you need the place files. So we have the 11 locations, the latitude and longitude. Um, these are predetermined by the tour. So Dual gave me these locations to put into the code. And then we've got the names of the MP3 files for each of those locations. So one through 11. We just got some variables and we define all the pins for the LEDs, the buttons, the encoder, which is this. Yeah, some volume stuff and all the stuff we need for the player. So we define the GPS and we get things going. We get into the setup of the program. We set up the encoder and all the buttons and we just flash some LEDs at them to know that it's working. That's good, and then it looks for the SD card, make sure there's an SD card. And if either of those fail, the program won't do anything, it'll just blink the LEDs, and depending on which way the LEDs are going, tells you which one's erroring out. Hopefully none of them. And then it will play the very first audio file, the intro, and that's gonna play no matter what when you first turn it on, and it, that's gonna play while the GPS is searching for its signal. So when it's found its location, the program will start, you can head on your journey if you're out in that area and you choose to build one of these. If no audio is playing, then it's going to search your location compared to all of the locations. That's this for loop here. And it's gonna see how far away they are. And it's gonna find the one that if you're within 50 meters of it, it's gonna set that to the current location. This is a notification, so that will this will beep at you when you're in a zone where you can play a file and the red LED will turn on. That's what this notification is. So when you're in a location, it'll give you the option now to press play. Uh, and once you play, then you can either pause or stop. And if you stop it, it goes back to the beginning. If you pause it, it stays where it was that in the audio file that you chose to pause it at. If you're waiting to do something or you're interrupted, and then when you're out of the location, it turns that stuff off. So you can't play that file unless you're within that vicinity. And then this, uh, when you're paused, just makes the yellow LED pulse on and off so that you know that you're paused. So then we have some uh, interrupt routines here. This is the play. So it'll only play if the music is stopped and the in location bit is set. And then it will play the track of the current location. So track location, current location. If you stop, it does the opposite. It stops the music player, turns the LED off. That one's simple too. Finally, we have a pause, which will only pause it if it's playing and if the volume change, which is using this encoder. And as the encoder turns, 
it just changes the encoder value. So then we have the volume going up or down at any time when the audio is playing. Otherwise you won't know how loud it is. And that's it. So if we take this out, I've set a location that is just down the block, but it should trigger once I go out to the one side of my house. I haven't tried it yet, but we'll take the camera along and then you'll see that once we get to the location, it's going to beep at me and the red light's going to turn on and then we can play it. Okay, so when you turn it on, still don't have the back on it, but beeps at you, lets you know it's running. And welcome to fake it starts playing, so it starts playing kind of quiet, but you can turn it up. By downloading this audio file, you have and right now it's just playing the intro. Of Beware. For once you peel which back you can listen to, and you can see the GPS is searching right now. But if we stop that, it's going to search for the GPS, and then we will take this outside and see if we can get close to our location. And then the LED will turn on, and then we can play that next location. Well, there we go. We got close enough. So now we can play our file because the red light is on. That means you're within the radius of the location. The building you see before you is very important to the city of Vancouver's history. It was first We would only play this file if we're in this radius. Vancouver's very first we can pause it. You can see the, the yellow light will pulse when it's paused Indoor and be on fully when it's playing is a type of bee farm. Every morning, the or we can stop it and it'll go back to the beginning and it will tell you that uh, you're still in the location you can play it again the building you see before you okay so it now seems to be working and uh, yeah even the headphone jack works so if you plug in headphones the speaker turns off it's pretty cool Everything is working the way it should, which is surprising because I threw this together so fast. Now there's just one last thing I have to do before it's done. Okay, I am going to call that completed. Uh, I'm really surprised that everything worked because I threw this together so quick. This was probably one of the quickest, somewhat looking complete projects I've ever done. I think that was literally less than two weeks. I, I don't know the exact timeline, but of course, if you want to build your own Ghost Bros Walkie Talkie, all the resources, the links, they'll be down below in the description. There'll be stuff on GitHub, Thingiverse, all that stuff. This is sort of like a prototype, so they can do what they want with it. They can use it to promote. Um, they can maybe even turn it into a product in the future, which I would help with because that would be awesome. And it's so cool. And you could really do anything you want with it. But don't forget, you don't need one of these to listen to the tour. And you don't need to be at the location to listen to the tour either. It's hilarious just on its own. So if you want to go to fakeghosttours.com and download it and just listen to it on your own, it's absolutely hilarious. But Going on the tour would also be really cool. So hopefully I'll do that soon. I'm like 3000 kilometers away on the other side of the country. Uh, this is like the perfect kind of device to show off what you can do with an Arduino and it's a fun build. So maybe I'll do a group buy, I don't know. If people want them. So that's always the determination. Anyways, everyone, this was a fun build. It worked out, surprising, but that's how it goes sometimes. Everyone, be good and have a good day. Hey, so if you enjoy my content and these open source projects, definitely hit that subscribe button and consider becoming a patron on Patreon. These projects would not be possible without them. Thanks.